What's poppin' everybody? Hope you're having a super blessed day. And you know what? I know I've been saying I'm gonna be bringing this back for a very long time. And you know what? I'm not gonna lie. I kind of forgot my roots of what this channel started off being. And so today we are bringing back me watching subscribers highlights. Now we're doing it way differently than we've done it in the past. Normally I will pick one of you guys at random to watch just on Saturday. But you know what? You guys have shown so much love over the years that we got to find a way to get more highlights out. So right now what I'm planning on doing is two days a week. I'm going to be watching three of your guys' highlight tapes at random. Honestly, what I'm probably going to start doing is a daily watching three of your guys' highlight tapes. So if you want to get your highlights watched in next in the next time that we watch these watch these highlights, go down into the description and click the link to my Instagram and go follow me and DM me on Instagram with a name, a link to your highlight and a picture of you playing. You don't have to have all three of those, but it would really it's going to really help out your chance. Also, have some talent. That's all I'm gonna say. Just, just go out there and have some talent so we're not wasting time out here. But I just I just wanted to say, I just wanted to say I appreciate so much how much you guys have been supporting the channel. So it's time to get back to watching y'all highlight tapes because y'all y'all some pretty talented players out there. Also, the player that I was most impressed with from each of these subscriber watching sessions, I'm also going to make a video on my Instagram and TikTok promoting your highlights. So you might as well go follow me on TikTok as well. It's gonna be Sharp Sports on Instagram and then Sharp Sports underscore on TikTok. They both have the same logo, so you should be able to find it pretty easily. The links will also be in the description. So as you guys can see, when you send me a DM, it's gonna pop up over here and then it's gonna be in the request. I wanna say thank you to all of these people that did not get picked for today's video, but I wanna just give a big shout out to my guy, Jim, Brian, Jobernick, Post, Demarius, Kamora, uh, Trina, Trina Young, yeah, Brazyville, Heartbroken, Reliving History, Gregory, and Michael. I wanted to say thank you guys for sending messages, you know, just checking up, just wanting me to watch your guys' highlights. You were not picked for this week, but I want to say thank you for sending a message. So guys, be sure to send your highlights and you will be entered in to be watched the next week or the next time that we drop one of these subscriber videos. Now, real quick, before we get into the three subscribers that we're gonna be watching their highlights, I wanna give a huge shout out to today's sponsor, BUSR. Guys, the NBA season is finally here. We're starting to get the first couple games out of the way, but you know, it's never too early to start betting on these NBA games. And guys, BUSR is hosting a absolutely crazy promotion right now. They are having a 100% deposit match up to $2,500. That's right. If you deposit $300, that means you get $600 to bet with on BUSR Sportsbook. Also, for the NBA with specific games, you can not only watch the game on BUSR's website, but you can also make live bets and cash out live during the game. That is absolutely crazy. You can set a parlay, you can set a straight bet, whatever you wanna do, if you're seeing a game going one specific way and you wanna jump in after the game's already started, you can now with BUSR and their NBA Sportsbook. So guys, bet with confidence this NBA season and go click the, click the link at the top of the description, use code SHARPSPORTS and redeem your 100% percent deposit match up to $2,500 and I want to give a huge shout out to BUSR for sponsoring today's video. All right, but let's jump into it because the three players that we're going to be taking a look at today are absolutely insane. Leave this video a like, hit that subscribe button. Love and appreciate all y'all. Let's get into it. Three, two, one. So the first guy that we're going to be taking a look at is my guy, James Hayes. He said, hello, my name is James. I'm an unranked six foot five quarterback. Six foot five. I have zero offers and I need help. Could you check my film out this season? I have nine passing touchdowns and four rushing touchdowns. Hey, my man's been living in the end zone. I would appreciate if you could help me. I passed for three touchdowns against the number three team in the nation. Here's his film. And hey, this kid, he plays for a big time program. He plays for Coconut Creek High School, which is the 23rd ranked high school in the state of Florida. And in his senior year, he's been going absolutely crazy. He in seven games, he's throwing the ball. 95 times for 1,373 yards with a 68% completion percentage, throwing 12 touchdowns to only four interceptions. He's also carried the ball for 240 yards. And another, he, does, he doesn't have his rushing totals right here, but I'm assuming that these stats might not be fully there because he said that he had that many rushing touchdowns in his message. All right, so let's jump into it and see what my guy James Hayes is looking like on the field. Way to just throw an absolute strike to the corner of the end zone with pressure in your face. There it is. Okay, hey, so this guy plays for one of the best teams in one of the toughest states to compete in. He's six foot five and is putting up great numbers. I don't see why my guy doesn't have some schools looking at him right now. He has a cannon for an arm as well. 
He moves well. He's got some mobility. And he can throw on the run with a little bit of touch, too. Okay. Hey, I see you, James. Let's go. And I, I like his release. He doesn't have, like, the most orthodox throwing motion, but that ball gets out clean. Yeah, he has a very compact and quick throwing motion. Big physical quarterback. Yeah, I mean, look at... Look, come, forget what I said earlier. This kid's throwing motion is beautiful. Look at this. Ah, pow. Throw it on a rope. No, nah, how is my how does my guy not have schools looking at him right now? Six foot five, two hundred and I think two hundred and twenty pounds. It said this kid is a big quarterback and he can make any throw that you need. I mean, look at how effortlessly that ball comes off of his hand. He left it a little bit short, but all right, let's let's say this is the this is the goal line. So we got five, ten, fifteen. He's throwing this from about the twenty to the. What is this? So that's the 40. So the 35. So the 20 to the 35. So that's 30 yards. A little 45 yard throw with some air up underneath it. That's not bad. Hey, this kid, he he definitely he just needs some schools to look out for him. Right now, bro, if you do not have D1 offers, please go to a junior college. I know that junior I know that junior college is highly frowned upon in high school football just because it's like i want to go d1 juco is how you go d1 bro i love the fact that even when you have pressure in your face you still stick in there and you get that ball out that's beautiful i know that you like that is not an easy throw to make i've seen five star quarterbacks who flinch more than that and the fact that you're able to stay in there deliver a strike and be able to complete that pass with pressure in your face bro that's impressive Hey, James Hayes, dog. Wait, no, wait, wait, wait. Did you, did you, I don't think you guys are understanding. This kid is unranked, making beautiful throws like this. Look at the anticipation. Corner, he's he's trusting that this wide receiver is going to take this corner out of the way. But even though that corner is still in play, look at where he places this ball, right above this corner's head and far enough out here so that this slot's corner can't, can't get to him. That is beautiful. That's a beautiful, beautiful ball placement right there. Yeah, no, nah. my guy James Hayes, dog, you are a absolute stud. Hey, you definitely need to be having at bare minimum three to three and a half stars. Next up, we got my guy Jordan King. He, he kept it real simple. He said, hey, please react to these if you have time. I love it when you guys are respectful with the highlights. Next time, make sure to put a, a picture of you playing or something like that. But I, I, I appreciate the respectfulness, and that's why you got picked. But my guy Jordan King also plays for another dominant high school. He plays for Pike Road, which is currently ranked as the 21st best team in the state of Alabama. As well, he's been putting up some crazy numbers as a junior. As a junior receiving the ball, he's caught 34 passes for 664 yards and four touchdowns averaging almost 20 yards a catch playing for the 25th best team in the state of alabama so let's take a look and see what my guy jordan king is looking like out here hey again another one of these players who plays for a super dominant team oh way to jump that hold up my guy has got some bunnies look at how high he gets up in the air right here this dude is skywalking right here oh my gosh Jordan King, hey, let's go, bro. I'm telling you, Sharp Sports has by far the most stacked subscriber group in all of YouTube. Oh, wait a second. Oh. Yo, get up off of him. Don't, yo, get up off my guy. Hold on, hold on. First off, catching the ball in the middle of the field, you got five people immediately surrounding you. No, break three tackles, stay up somehow, break that tackle, get off me little boy. And then takes it to the crib. And this kid's a junior. Nah, Jordan King, this dude is a problem. Low end around. Yo, my guy's got some wheels too. The only thing is, is I think I think on his uh, Max Preps profile, it says that he's five foot six. All the talent in the world, the height's always gonna be an issue for D1 schools. So you're gonna really have to show that you're great acceleration and that you're going to be uh useful in the punt return and kick return game but as far as like a offensive weapon dog you've got it you've got the speed you've got the you've got the physicality i mean you just threw five players off of you like it was nothing and 600 plus yards and you're not even done with your season yet that's very very productive 
And just keep on getting open for your quarterback. There it is. And then just pull away from him. Pull away from him. Let's go. Hey, my guy Jordan, dog, you have some talent out here. Again, both these guys, play, the, the two guys that we've taken a look at so far, play for some of the best teams in their state. I like this kid's game a lot. Jordan King, this kid is the truth out here. <laughs> right place, right time. Right place, right time. Oh, did you pitch that to your boy so that he can get the... Did you pitch this to your boy who, so that he can get a touchdown? That's that's cold if you did. You did that. Hey, that, that's real cool, bro. The fact that you pitched it to your teammates so that they can get a touchdown, I like that. Yeah, you got some wheels, bro. When you hit that edge, you are gone. Yeah, the number one thing, which we're about to see right now, showing that you're going to be a factor in the punt and kick return game. Cameraman, where you at? Oh, never mind. Go get you a block. Go get you a block. Get him up at the play. Oh, no. Never mind. That, that's you. For, yeah, okay, that is you returning the ball. Let's go. Hey, Jordan, you have a ton of talent. I know that you're in your junior year, so you still have your senior year, you know, to get bigger and get more offers and get more looks. Dog, for you playing for as big of a school that you do and putting up these great numbers... The number one thing that you're going to have to show is that you're going to be able to physically play at the next level. So maybe even if you have to sacrifice a little bit of speed, not a lot, but just a little bit. I mean, you're showing the physicality in the highlight tapes for sure. But just so that you can, you know, bulk up, really show colleges that you're able to fill out your frame. That's going to give them more confidence to, to offer you because you have D1 talent through and through it's gonna be which i know that you're probably tired of hearing it but i'm gonna I'm always keep it uh straight with everybody the the height is always gonna be something that's gonna concern college coaches but the more i mean you're unbelievably athletic I, you probably have a 35 plus inch vertical you're probably running somewhere in the low four fives as a junior like these are incredible incredible stats so you go out there maybe hit a late growth spurt and then you go and just keep on putting up a great senior year you should definitely have some maybe smaller division one schools offering you and last but certainly not least you know we do get a lot of higher profile recruits reaching out so we got to also show them some love too so today we're gonna be taking a look at my guy ken kensley louis door faustin i'm sorry if i mispronounced any part of your name but my guy he, he's been showing love for a minute back in june he said yo i would love if you could watch my uh, he said i love watching your videos and i was wondering if you could react to my highlights I, I, again if you guys want to get my attention just be polite you know that I, I get a lot of dms so just anytime that you're polite i always appreciate it yo can you reach my highlights auburn commit as you guys can see my guy four star safety 43rd best safety in the nation auburn commit and on top of that, another one of these guys that he plays for a really talented program, the 64th best team in the state of Florida. And in his senior year so far, he, he's been a, a great return specialist, 263 yards off of just kick returns, averaging almost 30 yards a kick return. And then on defense, he's been putting up great numbers, 43 tackles, five tackles for a loss, and then three picks and seven pass breakups. Like this kid, this kid's getting it done on the defensive side of the ball. All right, so let's take a look and see what my guy Kensley Faustin is looking like on the field. This Auburn commit, let's see what he's looking like at safety. I, oh, I love the hip, I love the hip fluidity right here. Look, just look at how square he's standing up to this receiver. Where are you going? Nope, breaks on that. Clamps, clamps. Where are you going? Absolutely nowhere. Give me that pick season. Let's go. That was just phenomenal coverage. That was pure technique obviously he's a great athlete but that technique was beautiful i love how quick he's, he's able to just how quick and how quick and rangy that he is nope where are you going stay in front of him break it up this kid's gonna be a monster at auburn and just bump through everybody Hey, I see you, my guy. This this kid, he, hey, so far, our first subscriber highlight watch, these are some talented kids. High point it, yup. I love the fact that, you know, I, I feel like a lot of the secondary players and a lot of the DBs that I watch their highlight tape, 
a lot of them are just good athletes. You know, they don't have to focus so much on on their ooh, just way to get in there. Oh, and you climbed out with it. Let's go. I was gonna say a lot of the DBs that I watch, they're great athletes. You know but not great technique. They're able to just outrun a lot of players so that they can get themselves in bad positions because it's like, all right, I can just catch back up to the guy. Kensley, he's out here really putting down some great technique. T hey, give me that. T to the crib. To the crib. Yeah. Somebody get it? L let's go. Auburn got themselves a pure lockdown safety. Yeah, no, you're gonna you're gonna be quarterbacks nightmares over there in the SEC. Yo, wait a, again, just look at how quickly he's breaking on this. Yeah, and uh, give me that. Hey, Kensley Faustin, I see you out here. There it is. So as we can see, those three subscribers are putting down some crazy tape. I gotta hear from y'all, comment your thoughts down below. Out of the three players that we took a look at, who were you most impressed by their highlights? I, I need to hear from y'all. Honestly, I know, you know, whoever the winner is, I'm gonna be making a video on my TikTok and my Instagram for them. I think I, I got a tie. I, I, I got a tie. I know, hey, it's the first one. I get to make up my, I get to make up my own rules. Don't, don't say nothing. Jordan King and James Hayes, those two guys impressed me a ton. Don't get me wrong, Kensley Faustin, that kid is extremely talented. He's got his offer already though. Those two kids, hey, junior and senior year, they both need some more, they, they need some love shown to their highlight tapes and they both, their play more than lived up to that. The fact that you're playing for those good of schools and that you're putting up great numbers like that and the play on the field backs it up, we're going to be making a video on my Instagram and on my TikTok for both of you guys. I'll be tagging you on Instagram, and then I'll also just add your name on TikTok. Both of you guys absolutely showed out, and I appreciate you guys showing love to the channel. Guys, remember, if you want to be in the next video where we watch subscribers' highlights, hit that subscribe button on this YouTube channel. Go and follow me on Instagram and send me a DM. Also, go follow me on TikTok as well, because, you know, we're trying to grow the TikTok as well. It's Sharp Sports on Instagram and Sharp Sports underscore on TikTok. Go follow me on Instagram, send me a DM on Instagram, and send a link to your highlight page, a picture of you playing, and your name. When you send those three things, I will be picking you guys and be watching your guys' highlights. I'm gonna try and do, I'm not, I'm not that I'm going to try. I'm going to be doing this at bare minimum twice a week. I wanna get to the point where I'm doing this daily. So guys, be on the lookout, hit that subscribe button because you're not gonna wanna miss out because hey, it could be you next that we're watching your highlights. I love and appreciate all y'all. Again, go check out BUSR by clicking the link at the top of the description and using code SHARPSPORTS to get a 100% deposit match on your first deposit, deposit up to $2,500. Always know that if you're ever going through anything, that Jesus Christ, our all of our Lord and Savior, he never left your side. He's always been right there through the thick and thin. For the times that he didn't feel like he was there, he was always there. We just might not have been able to see that he was there. Love and appreciate all y'all. I know that you can call upon him. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Ciao.